My name is Adam Suggett. Uh, I'm the, uh, the sales and marketing manager over at London Zoo. What I do is I look after uh, new business, look after our current clients, make sure everything's happy. I oversee the event coordination team, uh, which consists of two event coordinators, uh, a wedding specialist and a sales executive. London Zoo first opened its doors in 1826 and it's the world's first ever scientific research zoo. We have so many listed buildings, it's, it's unbelievable. I think we have 13 in our, in our 36 acres of, of zoological gardens. That's kind of a, a hindrance and it's a benefit. You know, they're very oldie worldy very picturesque and elegant, but um, when it comes to wanting to do a refurb or something like that, it's kind of hard. But uh, we do our best. We do all sorts. Um, we we kind of service both markets, both the corporate market and the, uh, the private market. So. In terms of corporate, we do everything from uh, small meeting rooms for, for last minute frequent use for local businesses, uh, up to big elaborate awards ceremonies, product launches, we do a lot of celebrity events, not to mention summer parties, Christmas parties, that kind of thing. In the private sector, we, we do birthday parties, bar and bat mitzvahs, um, but, but by far we're, we're in the private sector, we, we really, really deliver exceptional weddings to a very high standard. We have three suites, the Raffles Suite, and the more popular ones are the Prince Albert Suite and the Mapping Pavilion, which uh, this is the backdrop for the Mapping Pavilion, as, as you can see it now. What we have here is our Mapping Pavilion. Um, as you can see, this is the, uh, the Grade 2 listed terraces. About a year ago, this actually was, uh, was Bear Mountain, and as you can see, we've given it a bit of an overhaul, a bit of a refurb, brought something new to the scene. And uh, you can see the emus and the wallabies are uh, very much at home in their, in their outback. The map pavilion is available from you know, nine in the morning um, to midnight and we can extend that either side. We use a terrace uh, a lot for barbecues during the summer months, but as you can see in these conditions, it's absolutely perfect for, for weddings and bringing everything together. Well, this is the map and pavilion. Uh, the first thing to mention is the amazing uh, backdrop of Regent's Park. Set up um, in, a, in a very basic banqueting style at the moment, just to give you some kind of idea of, uh, of how we might you know, uh, present, present such stuff. In terms of capacities, we can hold um, 80 people with a dance floor, and that's very comfortable. We can hold 90 to 100 without a dance floor. For a reception, um, probably about 150, and we're, we're talking inside, that's just inside, but um, of course you've got the terrace at your disposal as well. We're licensed uh, for, for both civil partnership, normal ceremonies, civil ceremonies. And we do a lot of Asian ceremonies as well, actually, and Jewish. I can't really say if there's one more popular than the other, actually. Um, we, we kind of we take advantage and benefit of, of meeting all kinds of people from different kinds of backgrounds. You've got two options, really. You can do a bespoke wedding. We'll walk you through all of our menu options. We'll walk you through the different venue spaces we have with the different room hire rates. We'll talk about certain kinds of theming and stuff like that. But this is very much what we would do in a, in a meeting or on a telephone call. We have our own specialist event caterers on site as well, which do very, very good rates. Alternatively, outside caterers are welcome. I'd probably advise coming for a, for a menu tasting with our on-site caterers because um, if, if we were to use outside caterers, the room hire rates would be slightly inflated. But it's very much up to the client. It's, it's, it's never a no, it's always a yes. Uh, it's just in terms of logistics. This is the Prince Albert Suite. Um, what we can accommodate in here is um, up to 300 for a standing reception. We can do very comfortably um, 210 people, 220 people with a dance floor. And you look about 240, 250 uh, without the dance floor. As you can see, uh, the scale of the Prince Albert Suite is, is quite large. It's kind of very regally decorated, very grand. We have a banqueting style here. We have foreign relationships with a lot of florists. You'll probably see on the tables now we've got some uh, kind of uh, fun table centrepieces, but by no means would you need to use those at all, whatever suits the client basically. Coming to London Zoo um, is probably for one reason, that it's, that it's quite a, a unique setting. And when it comes to uniqueness, we have a couple of things that would be probably uh, interesting to any wedding couple. First of all, we've got the animal houses. Um, now, we have eight of these uh, world famous animal houses and uh, they range from rainforest lookouts to, to animal kingdoms like the Gorilla Kingdom. Well, this is the home of Majuku, Zaire and Effie, our African lowland gorillas. Again, it's one of our animal houses um, which uh, everyone loves to, to come and it really adds value to everybody's experience. We can do up to 300 in, in the gorilla kingdom. We're allowed to do it probably about twice a week um, and we just do this just so that the gorillas don't stray away from their routines and it's for their welfare basically. So um, booking gorilla kingdom is available from uh, April to September and so it's, it's good to get in early to avoid some disappointment. We give all the wedding guests, uh, you know, one hour's zoo pass um, just so they can take in 
you know, their surroundings because they've come here for a reason. But a service that can't really rival anything else really is, is, is booking an alive animal encounter. So what we could do is either we could get groups of your wedding guests to uh, go and feed the giraffes, or we can go and uh, have them watch the pygmy hippos get their teeth cleaned. One of my personal favourites is getting one of the animals to actually come to your event, to your wedding, um, or to meet your guests on arrival for that kind of first impression wow factor. Well, this is our restored Victorian third house, uh, what we call the Blackburn Pavilion. This area here is what we, what we use for the functions for the animal house. And we've done everything here from, you know, the usual cocktail parties and canapes and fort buffets, but we've actually also done a, 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 a seated dinner here for uh, uh, 50 people. It just kind of shows a little bit of our flexibility because um, we didn't think we were able to do it, but we got the chefs down here, we did a recce. The moral of the story is that we'll always kind of put the customer's requests first, we'll always try and find out if we can do it, and it, it turned out to be a really successful event, really. One of the main kind of benefits that give a lot of our uh, bridal couples peace of mind is that all profits that we make from a wedding goes to the Zoological Society of London, so in essence what you're doing is contributing directly to uh, all of our conservation projects around the world and you'll, you'll be helping critically endangered animals and, and their habitats as well. Also not to mention supporting us in our eco policies as well, so supporting us in green tourism for London because we want to get our gold this year.